Hey guys, my name is Jay Wilson. I am a consultant at Onyx Reporting. Um, and today in this short little video, I wanted to talk a little bit about what a cube and data warehouse solution can do for you. Um, actually, to get at the root cause of the issue, I think the reason why we're watching this video, the reason why we're having this conversation is because people want to be able to do analytics easily. People want to be able to analyze the data that's going into their ERP, whether it's NAV or Great Plains or Solomon, whatever your, wherever you store all your transactional data for your company. We want it to stop being a black hole and we want to be able to analyze that data in Excel. And so people are looking for solutions and there's many vendors with many different products, but I think at the end of the day it'd be ideal if we could do our an analysis in Excel. Uh, to be honest, a lot of my clients end up being Jet Reports customers, and so the Jet Reports customers are either using Jet Essentials or they're using the Jet Enterprise product, and they're hearing these words BI, Cube, Data Warehouse thrown around, and so they're really, again, they're asking, what are the choices out there? What can I do? Now, before we get into a conversation about, you know, what's the right product for you, I guess the real question is, what do you want your reporting to look like? Now everybody's going to have a slightly different answer. Everybody has different reporting needs. Everybody has different metrics that they care about. But I really strongly recommend that as you start this conversation, you, you look at existing reports, whether they're reports that you currently already have developed, maybe you have reports coming out of NAV, um, maybe you have the report player from Jet Reports. Um, which is a body of over 100 free reports. Whatever your source is, I recommend that you look at some reports just to get some inspiration about what's possible. Because for some of us, we're only used to seeing a lot of data in a huge spreadsheet, millions of rows, hundreds of columns, and then we have to summarize that somehow. And for some of us, we're really used to working with pivot tables. And for others of us, we just want a dashboard like this one that has the key metrics that I care about, as well as a set of um, dimensions, whether it's, you know, the top five items or the top five customers that I build. I guess no matter what report we're looking at, we'll, we're looking for a little bit of flexibility in terms of being able to apply filters and see some numbers change, hopefully in real time, if at all possible. Okay, but again, I recommend that you look at reports just to get inspiration. And I came across this report, this is one of the many reports in the report player, and um, one of the things that I really liked about it was the ability to just show, you know, just five items, or ten items, that I really care about. I also liked the fact that it was already laid out in terms of having the key metrics that I care about. Sales for a period. Well, what's my period? Maybe it's year to date. Maybe it's last, last month. Maybe it's just sales yesterday. Um, and in looking at this report, I was inspired by some work, or I was reminded of some work that I did for a client where they were looking for a report that would just show them um, the salesperson's performance. And theoretically, this report would get updated once or twice or three times a day, and it would just show, okay, a ranking of all of my salespersons for the sales that came in yesterday. Or maybe the sales that came in today. Um, so to circle back to what I'm going to talk about today, um, what we're going to take a look at both in this video as a demo and then in the actual blog post itself, I'll show the, the code that I used to develop it. Um, but we're going to talk about um, defining some key metrics, um, calculated measures. Um, and an example of that in this demo are going to be um, today's sales and yesterday's sales. Um, so we'll define some key metrics that I want to do my analysis across. And then we'll analyze those metrics across a set of dimensions. Or in this case, we're going to take the item dimension and we're going to say, okay, I only want my top 10. Now, of course, one of the joys of top 10, you know, top 10 items by what? Top 10 items by lifetime sales? Top 10 items by yesterday's sales? Top 10 items by the day before yesterday's sales? Right? Um, we're going to take a look at using dynamic sets, or sets that can change, 
um, in our pivot table. So let's, um, let me hide this so we don't get distracted. Um, and let's start taking a look at just our key metric, today sales and yesterday sales. Can we just pause for a moment and appreciate how cool it could be to have a spreadsheet, it opens up, you open it up in the morning and bam, you see it right there, just those two numbers. What did I do yesterday? What did I do today? And maybe you wanna calculate the variance and the percent variance. Or, um, you know, we could take these sales numbers and then of course we can obviously um, use our pivot table to apply some filters, whether it's filtering by a specific customer, filtering by a specific region, or in our case, we're gonna take this, um, these numbers and then we're going to show them by item. Let me delete this guy for a moment. So I find my item dimension and toss in items. Now keep in mind, this is a um, demo database, right? So um, I've got a limited set of information. This is um, a variation of the Cronus database. But I'm looking here and I can see, okay, here are the, how many items do I have? Here are the 26-ish items that I had and here were their sales yesterday, and here were their sales today. And again, you know, this is good to show all items, but it would be even better if I could just focus that slice on the top 10 items. And what I've done is I've created some dynamic sets um, that allow me to say, okay, I only wanna see the top 10 items by sale amount, let's say today. And when I pop that in, I can see I do in fact have only 10 items, and presumably these are the top 10 item sales today. Now they're not in any sort of sort order that makes sense anyway. So um, one of the features of Excel, and I'm using features slightly sarcastically, um, is that Excel will order your sets for you. And if you wanna take out that ordering, we have to go to Field Settings, layout and print and make sure that we are not automatically ordering and removing duplicates. So sorry, I lied. Um, it actually is sorting for me. So fantastic. <laughs> um, but by default, actually, this, if you're trying to follow along later on and it's not doing the right thing, um, you have to ch take out that um, automatic sorting button here under field settings. Oh goodness, sorry, going to the wrong place over and over again. Here under field settings, layout and print, you wanna make sure that it's not checked um, to allow your, your um, set ordering to apply. Okay, so those are the top items today. I created a a similar dynamic set just to say sort show the top 10 items sold yesterday. Fantastic. You can do this for items, you could do this for customers, you could do this for, I don't know, consultants that have traveling expenses. Um, you could, <laughs> basically any dimension, you could create dynamic sets based off of a certain measure and I'll show you how to do that um, later on in this blog post. But it, you know, as interesting as it is to have two sets, what were my top 10 items today, what were my top 10 items yesterday, I guess it could get really intriguing to start comparing the two sets of items. You know, what, which items were in my top 10 two, time, two days in a row? So, of the top 10 items yesterday and the top 10 items today, I see I only have two items that actually overlap. And I guess to kind of show that in action, here I'm looking in this pivot table over here, I'm looking at the top 10 items today, and I can see that only two items had sales yesterday. So yeah, it makes sense that the intersect of top 10 items today and top 10 items yesterday would just be two items. 
so I can figure out who are my standing champions, as it were. I guess the next question would be to ask, okay, who were top 10 items yesterday that are not top 10 items today? What is the difference of A minus B? So again, under my set calculations, I can pop in the not top 10 today. So these are going to be items that were top 10 yesterday that are not top 10 today. And we can do some other variations of set calculations. Um, ultimately, what I wanted to get to was just this idea that, you know, step one is to have an idea of what's possible. And in order to have an idea of what's possible, I guess you have to start looking at other reports that people have built, whether it's other reports that exist within your organization, or again, by going into the report player, which you can download in, from Jet Reports website by going to help resources and going to the report player, right? Even if you're looking at an AR report and you work in AP, there might be some overlap in terms of what are some metrics that we care about or what is a nice layout for really quickly communicating the things that I really care about. And as you start looking at these um, reports or dashboards with a critical eye, get a feel for what you really like. I happened in this example to really like the fact that we were just looking at the top five items. And so I just expanded it to be top ten. Um, I really appreciated the idea of having total sales, not for lifetime sales, but total sales for a period, whether it's year to date, month to date, quarter to date, or what have you. And actually, I just took it a step further to say, you know what, I'm going to automatically calculate yesterday sales. And again, I'll show you um, later on in this blog of how you can do that if you're more technically oriented. In any event, my name is Jay Wilson. I'm from Onyx Reporting. Um, feel free to email me at jae at onyxreporting.com. This webinar was really just intended to give you an idea of how you can use a cube and a data warehouse solution to, to get some better dynamic analytics out of Excel and pivot tables. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers.